Today marks the first ever International Holocaust Survivor Day, a day to pay tribute to the extraordinary contributions of survivors and to celebrate the lives they built despite the evil they endured. News 12 Shauna Narine takes us to a ceremony in Plainview where survivors were honored and celebrated. There was lots of dancing and smiles on everyone's faces to celebrate the first Holocaust Survivor Day here at the Mid-Island YJCC in Plainview. Today is not about the, uh, what they went through in their, the early part of their lives, but it's truly about them. They raised families, they've opened businesses, they've been productive members of society, and they need some recognition for that. Holocaust Survivor Day honors Auschwitz survivor Marion Tursky, whose birthday falls on June 26. It's being celebrated two days earlier this year because of Shabbat. The goal of this day is to spark a worldwide annual event that keeps the legacies of these last generation of survivors in mind. Sammy Stegman was sent to a labor camp with his parents when he was just eight years old. He says because he was too young to work, he was subject to Nazi medical experimentation. The 81-year-old still feels side effects every single day. The side effects, I felt them all my life and I will feel them for the rest of my life. Although I'm in constant pain, you will not see it on my face. He says he wants to educate the younger generation about the Holocaust. To motivate them to be the best they can be, to empower them. Uh, to become upstanders, not to be bystanders. Lottie and her husband Werner are both Holocaust survivors, but she says she tries not to think about that time in their lives. You live your life, you live every day, and you're thankful that uh, we survived. The Holocaust survivors got to share their stories with one another while dancing and making new memories. In plain view, Sean Unrein, <laughs> News 12, Long Island. All right, Shauna, thank you. And there were around 50 Holocaust survivors at today's event.